Famous Guitars episode 15. Now, for your Labor Day special Famous Guitars, I want to kind of highlight one of the hardest working people in music and highlight this guitar right here. And of course, I'm talking about the famous Les Paul, and this is his log guitar. And while he was playing music and guitar particularly, he wanted to electrify the guitar in a way because people were saying they could hear his voice, but they couldn't hear his guitar. So he would actually, in the very beginning, take his father's record player needle and attach it to a guitar and found that it did make some sound. But he wanted something a little bit denser, a denser material that would have more sustain. So he used actually an old railroad track and he strapped uh, I think a telephone receiver to that and he got it he got the sustain that he wanted and it was just a beautiful sound to him but his mother said the time that you see a cowboy riding a horse playing a railroad track <laughs> so of course his dreams were shattered and you can find this story on his video chasing sound which is really quite fascinating so he, in about 1939, he began putting together what he would call the log. And what he did was he took a piece of 4x4 four four wood and attached a neck to it. And reportedly in several different sources say that he actually did this in the Epiphone plant. And he strapped the neck to the 4x4 four four piece of wood. He actually handcrafted a couple of pickups himself. And he put wings from a Epiphone hollow body guitar on either end. Of course, dubbing it the log because it was a solid piece of wood. So the wood was pretty, not as dense as a railroad track, but it was dense enough to get the sustain that he needed. And he got the tone he wanted. He took his findings to the Gibson plant where Gibson said, are you crazy? That's the nuttiest thing we've ever seen. And that's of course not exactly what they said, but that's kind of how Les felt he was treated. And he kept trying and trying and Gibson would just, no, nah, we don't want to hear of it. We're not doing that. We're building more traditional instruments. We're putting pickups and hollow body guitars, that type of thing. Well, guess what? Leo Fender came out with his own solid body guitar, which he called the Broadcaster, which was the original name of the Telecaster. And of course, in between there, there was a no-name caster as well, which I'll cover in a different video. But when Leo Fender did that, guess who came knocking on Les's door? <laughs> Of course, it was Gibson saying, hey, you want to bring that log back here? We want to take a look at that. And of course, the log started the legacy of Les Paul guitar made by Gibson. And of course, also leading to the SG guitar, which Les really didn't like that much. But I'll, of course, I'll cover that in a different video as well. But the Les Paul guitar continues to be an iconic guitar and also started off as this guitar right here, which is the log. And the log can also be heard on a couple different recordings, and I believe it was actually played on some of Bing Crosby's recordings as well. So there it is for your episode 15. It is the log guitar from Les Paul, one of the hardest working people in the music industry. Like, share, and follow for more Famous Guitars.